Okay, let's take a look at using Prettier to automatically format your code. The documentation says that the biggest reason for using Prettier is to stop ongoing debates over your code style. Once you and your team agrees on a style rule, add an option for it in Prettier and let it handle it for you automatically. So for example, things like line length, trailing commas, single quotes versus double quotes, and other rules. So I have a vanilla JavaScript project set up here. Let's go ahead and install Prettier on it locally. So let's go to install. Let's install it like this. And if you're using the extension in your IDE, you technically don't have to install it locally. But if you scroll down here, you'll see that they do recommend installing it locally just to make sure that everyone using the project is on the same version. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And next we have to set up a prettier config. You can see here that they are creating a file named prettier RC JSON and just exporting an empty object. And there are several ways to create a config file. If you go here to the configuration file, all of these are valid. So I'm just going to make a prettier RC file, which is JSON as well. So let's go back to our project. Let's make one in the root folder dot prettier RC. And for now, let's just leave it as an empty object. Okay. So now Prettier should be set up and let's take a look at using it in the command line first, which isn't a practical way, but let's start off with that. I'm just going to make a really long HTML element in here. And let me save that. And if you take a look at the docs, back to the install docs here to run it using the command line, we can use npx prettier dash dash write and give it the folder name. In this case, the current folder that we're in and you'll see that it will format it accordingly. So in this case, there's a rule that says the line length should be no more than 80 characters. So it should split this up, this line right here. So let's go ahead and open the built-in terminal and let's paste that in npx prettier write. And you'll see that it did format that line here and put everything on its own line. So that's not very practical. So let's go ahead and make use of an extension to do this automatically whenever we save our file. So let me bring this back. I'm using VS code here and the extension name is called prettier. And I already have it installed here. You can see it's extremely popular. And once you do that, we have a few options. I'll show you my options here. And you can see I have language specific rules, but they're all the same. So you can just move this out and up one level. So use this formatter. So this plugin that we just installed this one right here, and we do want it to format on save. And I believe I have a few other options here. So let's take a look. These are all the same. So I have this one that requires a config file in order for prettier to run. So in this case, we did add a prettier config, so it will run. And I also have this rule, which ignores editor config if it detects it as well. So now if we go back to our index HTML, you'll see prettier has checks down here. So if I save this file, doesn't seem to work. I think we have to close it and open it again. So let me just close index HTML, reopen it. Let's save it again. And oh yeah, it doesn't work because I have it set to false here because I wanted to make it work in the command line first. So let's set it true for HTML. And now back to our index HTML, let's save this. And now it reformats. So this works in HTML, JavaScript, CSS, Vue, React, TypeScript, and a bunch of other languages. So let's take a look at it in JavaScript as well. So there is a JavaScript file here. And let me just paste in a long signature here. So you'll see that this line is longer than 80 characters, which is the default length. So if I save this, it should split it up into multiple lines and it does cool. And it also works for CSS. There isn't too much formatting going on, but things like braces on their own line or indenting are automatically formatted. So let me just change the formatting there, hit save, and it automatically fixes itself. Now let's take a look at some of the options available in Prettier. There's only a handful of them, so it's not too overwhelming. You can see all of them here. So for example, the print width or the line length is default 80 characters. So if you don't have a rule for that, it's going to default to 80 characters. But if you want to change it, then go ahead and change the print width in your JSON config. So with most of these options, I prefer the default setting, but for some of them, I like the alternate option. So back to our config. 
actually have a snippet called prettier. And here are the ones that I like. So I like using single quotes instead of double quotes in my JavaScript. So I set that to true. False is the default. And for arrow parens, I like to set that to avoid. So by default, it's double quotes. Let me just bring this back to an empty object here and show you that it defaults to double quotes. Let's go to main.js here. So let's just add a statement here. Let's say that foo equals single quotes bar and hit save. You'll see that it adds double quotes and also adds a semicolon. So that's a rule as well. But let's change the rule for single quotes first. So back here, let's put that back. And if it's true, let me just get rid of this for now. Actually, it doesn't matter because there is no rule that is affecting this yet. But now if I save this, it should default to single quotes. There we go. And for the most part, I like semicolons on, except when I'm in a view application. So if we go back to our config, the option for that is called semi. And if you want that off, just set it to false. So now it should remove semicolons. So back to our JavaScript, let's hit save here, and it should remove the semicolons. Cool. And the other option that I like on is this arrow parens. So let's take a look at that. I believe it's this one here, arrow function parenthesis. So it just says to try to avoid it if possible. So for example, if you're using a arrow function with only one param, then you can get rid of it if you're using avoid here. So let's try that. Back to our JavaScript. Let's just do a set timeout. And let's pretend there's an argument here. So with this option on, it's going to get rid of these parentheses here because it's not needed for one argument. So if I save that, it gets rid of it. And it also puts it on its own line because there's nothing in there. But if there is, then it won't. Now, if there were two arguments here, then it will have to leave those parentheses because that's required. So x, y, and it does leave the brackets in. So yeah, just spend some time reading through these rules. Like I said, there aren't too many and decide what you like for your projects. Now, sometimes you want to ignore certain statements. So if we go to ignoring code, you'll see how to do that. You can define a prettier ignore file, similar to a dot git ignore file, and you can ignore certain folders and certain files. Or if it's just a statement, you can add a comment above it. So for example, here, if you have this matrix function, you probably want to view it like this. So it's easy to visualize the matrix but prettier is going to format that into a single line unless you add this prettier ignore comment. So let's try that out. Let's just get rid of this. And let's add that matrix. If I save it, then it's going to put it on its own line, which we don't want. So let's just add that prettier ignore comment. And it should ignore the next statement. So now if I save it, it should stay the same. Now, if you're using Prettier with ESLint, then there's a chance that there may be conflicting rules. So if you take a look at the docs here, you'll see that linters have two categories, one for formatting and one for code quality. So what you want to do is ignore the formatting rules in ESLint and let Prettier handle that. And then ESLint can take care of the code quality rules. So to do that, there is a section here integrating with linters. And you can use these packages to pretty much ignore the formatting for ESLint. So if you're not familiar with linters and ESLint, Jeffrey has a layer bit on that that you should check out. So yeah, that's basically it for any of your front end JavaScript projects. I would highly recommend using Prettier so you don't have to worry about formatting your code. Just save it and it will automatically reformat it for you. Now, in terms of PHP, there is a community plugin for it, as you see here, but I haven't configured it to work with VS Code. If you have done that and it works nicely, please let me know in the comments on how you did so. But I do have a few plugins in VS Code that does some formatting. So let's go to a Laravel project here. So one is for formatting Blade, and I believe it's called Laravel Blade Format or something like that. So yeah, this one, Laravel Blade Formatter, and it works okay. So for example, let's go to this Blade file and let's change the indentation and save it. That does fix the indentation, which is a lot of the formatting that I want to do but it also doesn't format this line accordingly. So for example, we have this long line here. If you take a look at my settings, you'll see what I mean here. So this is the formatter that I'm using. Format on save is on. 
and I have the line length set to a large number because it doesn't format it the way I want it to. So if I change it to 80, you'll see what I mean. So back to our code here, let me just hide the sidebar. So if I save it, you'll see that all it does is move the class attribute to its own line. So what I want to have happen is move it here and something like this, or maybe have each class on its own line if it's too long. Similar to how Prettier does it, but it doesn't seem to do that, so I just set it to 9999. And for the most part, that's okay. I'm happy with the indentation formatting that it does for me. The other plugin that I have is PHP CS Fixer, which automatically formats your code to PSR2. So if you take a look at my settings for that, I believe it's called June Style PHP CS Fixer. So if you go to a normal PHP file, say our user model, it should automatically format this code to PSR2. So let's make a method and let's remove the visibility here. So let's just add something in here. Let's also change the indentation here because PSR4 should be four spaces. If I save that, it should automatically fix those and it does. So yeah, definitely consider using Prettier to format your front end code and these two plugins to format your PHP.